Uh, the vision for Burundi I have, the, what I wish for my country, uh, is is a change, is a change, a deep change in uh, in the history of Burundi. We had a lot of drama, we had a lot of violence, political violence, and um, I hope I hope that uh, the movement that we had uh, uh, two years ago, we started, that is will go on. In all areas of the community of the society, we need uh, freedom first, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of, for the people to express and live their life. And uh, I hope that after the change, the change which will come when uh, this president who took power by force, actually, uh, by uh, violating the constitution and trying to stay in power, and when this man will leave, because he will leave, I hope that we will start a new, a new era of development uh, and of uh, progress for everybody, for for the families, for the people, uh, for, for the students, for in all areas of the society. I really don't know, but my, my life, my life have been that I started when I was like 20 years old. Uh, I've been a refugee in the 90s because I was. I had an organization, a human rights organization at the time with student, some other students. Mm -hmm. So I had to leave Burundi during the, the war in the 90s. So I've been a refugee. Uh, and my life is made of that. I didn't choose. I tried to do some other things. I tried to be a businessman. I tried to be, but there's no way. There's no way for me. My life is that. It's maybe uh, family culture or what I learned when I was young or the books I've read or people that I consider to be um, examples for me, uh, maybe African history, maybe African, uh, you know. I think there's no way to develop yourself without developing the whole community and uh, giving rights to everybody. Or oh, media, media have been, um, had a big, big role in Burundi actually. Media wa was like a school for human rights, for everybody. Media, the radio, the free radios and uh, the TV station I've been working for was like uh, teaching people every day, every day, teaching all the community what is wrong, what is right, what, what, are, what is them rights, uh, what they can do and what they cannot do, what the hope that they can have, what they can expect from the government, what they can expect for, for the future. So media, media prepared people to, 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 to know who they are and what they can have, what they can expect from, from, from the whole community and from the government. So it was a school of democracy uh, before the protest. So the protest, when, when, when the time for protesting came, uh, we didn't have to teach people what was their rights. We didn't have to teach people not to, 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 to rape, not, not to, 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 to get violent, not to, 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 you know, to end, up, end up breaking houses or burning houses. We didn't have to do that. People knew what they can and what they cannot do. People knew about what happened in some other countries. So media was were central in, in, in the struggle that we, we are living in here. So social media have been a big, um, had a big role as well, but it came after the radios have been broken. Me, I was one of the first to be on the medias, on social medias, sharing with the diaspora, sharing with maybe international media what was going on since years. Uh, but when the government burned uh, four, four radio stations, uh, in 2015, the social media became the only way to talk about Burundi and to tell the world what was going on. The only way to break the silence uh, against uh, uh, that Guru Ziza wanted to, to, to put the country in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the movement Sindhu Mujahid still exists, still exists. Uh, certainly, he, we have 6,000 people in prison among the protesters, 6,000. We have more than 2,000 people killed we have uh, 500,000 people at the end of the year in exile for the two last years, from the two last years. So uh, the movement is still there, still in the heart. People, we ask people not to protest anymore, instead of some students who have done that uh, two weeks ago, because it became very dangerous. Guruza is killing everybody who is trying to, who, 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 that they, they know that he's among, he's a Sindhu Muja, which means that we don't accept what you're doing. So uh, the movement is still there. The movement will, will be back. The movement will bring back our, our 500,000 people home. And the movement will judge, will tell the truth, and will judge Hurun Ziza at the time. For the moment, the movement is there, but people keep silent because 
They don't have no choice. It's too dangerous now to go in the street and continue what we've been doing. It, it would be a suicide to go in front of those guns uh, of these presidents. Oh, I think um, I'm not, I'm not uh, me, I'm OK. Me, I lived in exile before, so I'm used to it. Like I say, I'm used to it. I'm very sad, like, like everybody who cannot go home. But I'm not alone. And if I became now, if I'm considered by some people like a social leader or a community uh, manager or whatever, uh, me, I, I just play my role. You know, I try to do my best to make to make uh, the reality in Burundi known, uh, to, keep, to keep hope to everybody, to inform, to keep informing everybody, to keep keep in touch with the people inside the country as well. Uh, my situation is not that bad. Uh, it's like for the other hundred thousand people, and according to people in prison, for example, I'm okay. I'm very okay. Yeah.